ABS World Radio. The traditional music program invites you to deepen your understanding about Korean traditional music by taking a closer look at various music-related topics every week and introducing a famous traditional musician. Today we'll talk about topic songs and the punk or dancer Yoon Jin Cho before wrapping up with a segment on the teaching technique called Goom. I'm your host, Walter Lee. Please stay tuned, I'll be with you shortly. Named Han Song Jong in Gangnam, Gangwon-do Province. It was named so for its location in the middle of a pine tree forest. An ancient record documents that Hadang, a group of young elites of the Hill Dynasty, enjoyed tea and relaxation here. Even during the Goryeo period, Han Song Jong was known as a good place to be entertained. Kaguk Song Unchon. A uh, garbled for male singers sings of gentlemen who board a boat made of pine wood from the Hansong Jong forest to be entertained with music and wine on a bright moonlit night. Generally, a singer sings multiple kabuk songs in sequence. The singer will start with slow, solemn songs and then gradually move on to faster, merrier songs as he grows more excited. On the sun, the sun when the singer reaches the height of musical excitement, is fast-paced and joyful. Kagok is included in the genre of court music called Chonga, along with Kasa and Shinjo song. Chonga songs were mostly enjoyed by the upper class with more money and time to spend on entertainment. Some people, on the other hand, enjoy folk songs or Inyo. But some folk songs enjoy the lyrics from Chonga songs, perhaps to demonstrate that even commoners can enjoy what was considered the nobility's proprietary culture. Let's listen to male kabuk song on Pion, sung by Yidong. The practitioner of Pandori Chokpyokka. Yung Jin Cho came to be widely known when he started hosting a TV program about traditional Korean music in the 1990s. There was hardly anyone who hosted a TV show with a thick Gwangju accent, but Yoon Jin Cho proudly spoke in the Cholo Do accent and introduced Pantori songs and folk sea songs from various regions. He started learning Pantori music when he got into playing the Jangu, when somebody left it at his home when he was little. Then one day, he heard the song of Jangu coming from a private Korean art academy and enrolled there to study Pantori in earnest. Soon he came to be known as a Pantori prodigy and he even appeared in a traditional opera in Seoul when he was just a middle school student. There he met Chong Won Jin, a master of Pantori Shin Chong and went to study at Cheonnam National University in Gwangju, where Chong Won Jin was a professor. But Chong died shortly after him. Instead of finding an teacher, Jin Jin worked on the skills he had learned from his mentor on his own. This method of learning studying by oneself is called Sokkong, which means studying alone. Because Pantori masters didn't like their students copying their voices and seeing techniques, young Pantori singers had to undergo this Sokkong process to make what they had learned from their teachers truly their own. Some Pantori singers requested themselves young and okay for years to create their own vocal styles. Yung Cho underwent the same process to be recognized as the master of Pantori Chokpyokka in 2020. We'll listen to a song from Pantori Chokpyokka where a fiery battle erupts along red cliffs. This Ari humorously describes the scene in which General Kakao's troops deployed along the river under red cliffs are defeated by the fire arrows shot from the enemy camp across the river. Here's Yung Jin Cho's singing the aria from Chokpyokka. 